Right, so go through some of this again, see if we can sell Ashley Seal. He just doesn't want to go. I'm literally just going to accept anything. You know, they can offer a pound and he can go. I just want to get him off the books, to be honest. But he, they don't seem to... Uh, don't seem to be able to get him get him off the books, unfortunately. They don't seem to, be able to get rid of him. If we look at the table after two games, so we've got Leicester and Man City who are flying high. So if anything, we've actually had a really difficult start to the season. We also had Leicester who are there with maximum points. And we've got another team in our third game which were maximum points with City. So it's going to be really, really difficult to have anything more than three points after these first three games. But kind of understandable. We had a really tough start. At least we're not going to be like right down in the relegation zone. In fact, it's Arsenal and Liverpool. Um, I, managed, I seem to have uh, pressed L2 or R2 or something there. I'm not sure what I've done. Um, I just press L2. It's actually Arsenal and Liverpool who are rock bottom with two... Well, sorry. Actually, Liverpool have only lost one game. So they, they might be all right to get out of there. But Arsenal have had back-to-back -back defeats at the start of the season. Um, just quickly find out if they've actually lost it. So they, oh, they lost to Chelsea. I think they had City actually opening game. So not actually too... Not too worrying for them, I would say. Uh, Newcastle, Bournemouth, Huddersfield, Everton, Southampton and Palace still only on a point. But Palace do have an extra game which they are yet to play. Although that is against Liverpool, so potentially that could be a defeat. Cardiff there with a victory and a draw. Four points for them. Obviously you've got the, uh, the standard kind of like Tottenham, Chelsea are up there um, in that kind of top area. West Ham have had a pretty good start. Then you've got the rest, which are like Watford, Brighton, United, Burnley, Wolves, all on three. Fulham have picked up two draws to start the season, which is a bit unusual. Two points from two for them. Uh, draws against Tottenham and Crystal Palace. So not actually too shabby for them. To pick up a point against, against Tottenham, they, they probably would have liked to have maybe beaten Palace, but I think the, the point against Tottenham kind of makes up for that, so they could probably accept that. Uh, but yeah, we've, we need to move on to the third game and the final game of August once we get through a few more of these days trying to sell a few more players. Like I said, no transfers are going to be made coming in. Potentially some going out, but it seems like we're only getting offers for the same players. It's the same players that we can't seem to sell. So can't imagine anything's really going to happen unless something happens on deadline day. Maybe somebody might come in for a big bid for one of our players. But um, really, I don't think I will sell unless it is absolutely mammoth for the offer. It needs to be something that I literally can't really refuse. Uh, this guy, somebody who I wanted to sell, um, yeah, Vittoria have come in with a loan offer. I'll probably do it. I'll, I'll accept it. He can go on loan, whatever. You know, we, we, we can deal with him in the next one. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with him. Um, I don't mind. Just... It's, it obviously doesn't really get off the buzz. I don't know if we still have to pay the wages or not. I'm not sure how that kind of works on here. Um, but, you know what, well, get him out alone. It keeps him happy, doesn't it? Just one less player that we're going to have giving us one of those stupid emails saying, oh, I want to play in the cup games. Well, no, mate, because I, I, I want to win. So, yeah, home, home game against City. Um, another another team that the uh, talks have broken down with there for Ashley Seal, which is disappointing. It is a bit disappointing, but... I'm actually gonna I'm gonna make a couple of personnel changes here. Um, I'm gonna just obviously tweak the instructions as well for for you know permanently. Obviously, I did it in the game, but I want to get it so that all the players have got it constantly. So we're gonna have it on stay forward and why do I keep doing that? I need it on stay forward and balance support for Helder Costa. I've got it on balance support. I need to put it on stay forward for Diego Jota. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe just like tell. Uh, what do we have it on here? Is it on support runs or is it what is it under? Ah, okay, so we have, we'll have a Jimenez on stay forward. Uh, maybe maybe tell him now. We won't tell him to get him hard because he, he's not actually got a, a, a particularly huge amount of pace, has he? We don't want to like drift wide. We we'll just have it on balance width. We need to keep him down the center. But that that'll probably be all right for now. I, I would I would have thought we don't need to make too many like huge changes. I, I don't think there's going to be like a a huge need for that. We've played against a couple of difficult teams. If we, you know, if we play against some of the slightly lower ranked teams that you'd expect to finish in the bottom half, and we're still struggling to create chances, then that's when I probably think, you know, what I may change formation. As much as I want to use the formation which they use in real life, it may not particularly be the best one for FIFA. So we'll just have to see. But I, I, honestly, I'm not going to use this game as a 
as like a benchmark or a, a judging point because honestly this this could it's one of those games where it's just about trying to keep the score down out of four but yeah we'll, we'll make a couple of personal changes we'll we'll give Caballero a start because I, I think he deserves it and uh, I'm actually gonna play Saiz instead of Moutinho for this game and why not let's let's play Dendonka for Bennett as well Bennett's had, he's, he's been really really good actually so far but we're going to mix it up. We're going to play Dendonka. Let's just uh, change up the team a little bit. New player in a couple of different areas. Obviously, there's, there's players still there on the bench if we do want to make the changes. So, I'm sure we should be absolutely fine. But, yeah, big game. The awesome there he is, Sergio Aguero. 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 Hopefully, we don't have to deal with him too much. I don't know if he's going to start. But, um, yeah, he's going to be a big threat. We can't really give him a chance. But, Molyneux is going to be pretty excited for this game. I mean, this is, this is what teams that get promoted, they live for, these sort of games. Um, and obviously, you know, last time out we won here, so there's there's going to be excitement in the air. The defeat at Leicester, you know, that, that can just be swept under the carpet. We don't really care too much about that. Most of the fans obviously wouldn't have been at that game. Obviously, they would have seen it, but they would have been at that game wouldn't have felt the uh, the poor atmosphere that probably would have been felt around the King Power after that game. So, hopefully, this is still going to be a bit of a buzz, and the crowd can get us going here and just almost try and intimidate City a little bit maybe but I, I can see Aguero line up there it seems like they've got pretty much their strongest team up there is Phil Foden there so I'm wondering who he's in the team for possibly maybe David Silva I haven't seen him line up Fernandinho looks absolutely buzzing to be playing there but these are the teams so obviously we're going for Patricio in goal Doherty, Dendonka, Cody, Bolly and Johnny across the back in midfield it's going to be Saiz and Neves in this game and up front, we've got Howard Acosta, Jimenez, but this time it is Caballero, the match winner from the opening day of the season. He plays out on the left. So City, they are looking pretty strong. I can't see any real weaknesses there. They, they seem like they've got pretty much their full strength side. But let's just confirm it. Let's see what they're playing, how they're lining up. So in goal, it is Edison, the Brazilian. At the back, they've got Walker, Company, Otamendi, and Benjamin Mendy. Midfield is Phil Foden, Fernandino, and Kevin De Bruyne. And in attack, it is Raheem Sterling, Leroy Sane, and Sergio Aguero. They've got David Silva on the bench, Gabriel Jesus, Bernardo Silva, John Stones. There's some guy called Bolton on the bench. This is a youngster. I didn't see the uh, two players on the left there, possibly. Um, I didn't know that's a goalkeeper is actually. I was going to say, uh, I was going to say Caballero, but he plays for Chelsea now, doesn't he? I'm not sure, I'm not sure uh, who they had there, but yeah. Should be a very, very tough game. Doesn't look like they've really sold anyone. They're not really bought anyone either. So, will be an interesting one. Pretty much the the usual teams. If we can replicate what Wolves did in real life, I'd be more than happy. I'd be more than happy with a 1-1 in this game. That would be phenomenal. One win, one draw, one defeat to start the season against three very, very difficult teams. That would be a, a fantastic start, to be honest. And here's Mendy. I think the wide man's got a chance here. This little ball inside to Sane. De Bruyne, oh my word, that is some goal by Kevin De Bruyne. Unbelievable. It didn't even look like there was a threat. It didn't look like there was an opportunity there for him, but he just dug it out with his left foot. He's sort of almost kind of whipped across it. You would almost call it a finesse shot with the inside of his foot, but it was so strange the way he struck that. Like, in fact, it's taking a deflection. It's taking a deflection, hasn't it? He's taking a real unfortunate deflection there. Off of the knee of Connor Cody. He's got a bit of a reputation for doing that in real life at the moment. He's got a couple of own goals in real life. And he's managed to deliver one here. And, you know, that could be a, a real hammer blow for Wolves. The second goal of the season already for De Bruyne. Two goals in three games for him. Uh, but Connor Cody, yeah, unfortunate there. Definitely that would have been a real comfortable save for Patricio. But... The little nick has taken that into the top corner. It's made it look like a much better goal than it actually was. And City have the leader, and this means that obviously Wolves are going to have to come out a bit, and City are going to hit them on the break. It's going to be so, so difficult. But Doherty's with a cross there. Not enough whip on that one. Straight into the hands of Edison. Uh, De Bruyne. He's taken that one on. Good save by Patricio this time. No deflections on that one. Just a nice, clean, solid strike by De Bruyne. But to try and win it back off Foden, though. And he does. And he's going to release Caballero. And this could work out quite nicely for Wolves. Caballero, there's a man free at the back post. Oh, what a finish. And it's a real smash and grab from Wolves. Helder Costa has fired that in. 
Well, we saw one against Leicester on his right foot. Very, very similar situation. And that time, it, it took an awkward bounce and he fired over the bar. But this time, look at that. Acrobatic volley. And he's just, he's almost caressed it past Edison. It was a very calm finish. Very accurate as well. Edison with absolutely no chance. It was right in the corner. The way Edison would have to come back across his goal to really get trying to get out on the stretch. Absolutely no chance. And Wolves out of absolutely nothing are back level in this game. I want a piece, and that is a huge, huge goal going into the half-time interval. If they can hold out for the next three or four minutes, that would be absolutely mammoth for them. A huge goal, but City are going to do everything in their power to try and get their lead back before the break. Here they go with Foden. Cross in, so he should win that header. He does. There's only two minutes of added time, but Wolves look as though they've got themselves a precious, precious goal to go into the interval. Or could they make it even more with Jimenez here? He's got Otamendi for company, but He's not really going to be able to do a lot here. He's dived in. And Jimenez has got away. Cross in. Might try to Caballero. Oh, Mendy just about looks it away. And that will be that, surely, for the half. It is. The referee does blow his whistle. Wolves won. Manchester City won. And that is some half of football there. Molyneux. Promising half of football, you'd have to say. Promising, indeed. But, uh, City didn't really have too many chances. Only a couple of long-range efforts. In the end, their goal was a goal which took a deflection on another day that would have just gone straight at the goalkeeper. So Wolves can take a lot of promise, a lot of pride out of that performance. And certainly there is an opportunity that they could get something out of this game. They're heading towards a point as it stands. No changes required at the break for Wolves. Not sure if any have really been required by City. We'll soon find out. Doesn't look like it. I wouldn't imagine they would have made any changes just yet. Um, it's going to be interesting how this one pans out, really, because tiredness could be a factor for Wolves. They certainly have a lot of the ball, but um, they perform like they perform so far. We'll, we'll do pretty well. We will do pretty well. We'll certainly give ourselves a major opportunity to pull, uh, pull someone out of this particular game. Put at least a point. What a strike that is by Fernandinho. What a goal. Unbelievable. Off the left foot, I mean, again, it's like De Bruyne, there wasn't really an opportunity on, they just kind of were passing it around, I suppose there wasn't really anybody pressing him particularly there, he took the shot on quickly, and he just rifled it past Patricio, I've never seen him do anything like that with his left foot, never seen him even really use his left foot, but that was some hit, it looked like it was going wide, and then... He just saw the net bulge and we were saying there that Wolves had an opportunity and suddenly out of nowhere, like top sides do, City have just bagged a goal out of nothing. This is going to be a bit of a mountain for Wolves now to try and get back into this. But that's a good quick early ball. Oh, Costa! Oh my word! They've hit back absolutely instantly! Well, this has been a half full of surprises, hasn't it? We were looking at half-time, 1-1 a game, which was you know, a lot of passing, a lot of probing, a couple of chances led to a couple of goals. I mean, this game, it's been, it's caught a light. It's been absolutely on fire so far. One opportunity for each side at each end, and one goal for each side. And both have literally been from kickoff. Elder Costa has got himself two goals in this game. Two goals with his right foot. Been absolutely phenomenal from him. Brilliant performance from Helder Costa so far, and that was a it was a good early ball by Jimenez. And City just fell asleep. They just they didn't track the run for some reason. They let him get in behind so easily. And yeah, I mean Wolves are, are looking good here. Two two in this game, unbelievable. It was going to be whipped in by De Bruyne. Wolves won't want to concede an easy goal like this. They didn't, uh, don't there with the uh, clearance by Jimenez. Getting back into his defensive duties. Walker, Walker and Fernandinho. Fernandinho don't want to let him score another. Yeah, Bernardo, sure. Bernardo Silva has entered the field now. He's on the ball right now. Number 20 is Sane. De Bruyne comes back to him. Oh my goodness gracious me. That is some strike. Three absolute corkers really from City in the end. Obviously the first took a deflection. But that is unbelievable. The ferocity of that shot is just flowing past Patricia. There's absolutely nothing that they could do about it Wolves. 
He obviously took the original shot on and came straight back to him. Nobody's ever going to be able to get in the way or react to that quickly enough. And he's just almost not quite a, a toe poke. He's just lashed it with the outside of his foot and his rifle past Patricio. And if that wins the game, then you just have to kind of take your hat off and say, fair enough. I mean, look at that. Right in the top corner, postage stamp. He could not hit that any better. There's absolutely no way you're going to save that. I don't think even three goalkeepers would have saved that one. Unbelievable save. Uh, unbelievable shot, I should say. So 3-2 to City. And again, Wolves have got to try and work their way back into this match. But as, as every goal goes in, every time they've got to work their way back in, there's less and less time to do it. And all it takes is for City to start parking the bus. And it could get really, really difficult. But here we go. That's that's the ball. It is Adama Traore. He's running at Otamendi. He's got to try and get it crossed it. He's going to play that cross to face. Oh. What a chance that was, and Jimenez couldn't quite stretch onto that one. Uh, Neves is going to swing in this corner. It's going to be a chance here. Oh, and who was that? It was a Jimenez with a header. In the end, straight at Edison, really. But that was an opportunity. Moutinho wins the header into Jimenez. He's managed to spin, but he didn't quite manage to wriggle away from company. He just wrestled him out of the way. Nice interplay between the two of them. Ball is down the right. There's a decent ball. Oh, wow. Not really sure what the defenders were doing there. They were static and they just... They didn't even jump. They, they It's almost as if they just fell asleep and just broke down. And David Silva's come in there and he's won that header. Not the best of headers either, to be honest. I mean, he's at the frame. It's kind of bounced in off the frame. I think that... Dendonka was there. It was Dendonka, yeah. He was actually there in front of Silva, but he just didn't jump. He did get off the floor and actually win the header. And in the end, not a lot of power on it, but the, the placement and the accuracy there by David Silva is enough to beat Patricio. And it looks as though that is probably it, to be honest. 4 2 to City. It looks as though some changes are needed for Wolves. They have been beaten by four goals to two by Manchester City. There's no shame in it. I mean, they, they managed to score two goals. I mean, they could quite easily have turned up to this game and been thrashed 4 or 5 nil. they put in a great effort to be at 2-2 for such long periods of the game uh, but in the end the, the quality is shown through the, a couple of really good strikes one from De Bruyne one from uh, Fernandinho you kind of disregard the first De Bruyne strike obviously did take a deflection the header from Silva was a little bit disappointing to concede you'd have to say uh, but Held across, he can take a lot of pride out of the game. He obviously popped up with two goals. It's going to put him right up to the top of the uh, the golden boot charts early on in the season, so not bad for him. Um, see one of his finishes just here, the first goal. What, what a finish that was on the volley. Very, very good strike from him. But unfortunately, it is a bit of a mixed bag for Wolves as we come to the end of August. We've come out of it with see, three games to play, but good three points. It's not because of three draws, it's actually because of one victory and two defeats. Now, we've not necessarily played that well throughout. We've, we, To be honest, the game we've probably played the best in was, was probably the City game in terms of attacking, but then that might have been because they kind of allowed it because they're, they're a bit more of an attacking team and they left a few more spaces. So was a little bit easier for, for us. So I think we're probably going to have to change the formation. Certainly something's going to have to give. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. There is actually another game in August. There's another game now. We've got a cup game. Wow. Okay. So, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Um, it's obviously, you know, a bit of a... It's going to be a bit of a longer video. Um, I'm obviously going to be cutting this down anyway. We're not going to be showing everything that I've just... You know, it's not going to be a full 90 minutes every time. So, you know what? We'll... Um, We'll do this. We'll, we'll do this game just so we can so we can see some of the other players. I'm not going to play a full strength uh, team in this in this game for a cup game. So we've got Birmingham in the Carabao Cup in the second round. So this will be an interesting game. I hope we don't lose this one. If we lose this one, I'll be very disappointed. I'll be pretty disappointed with our start to the season. If if we can come out of a win and have three points on the board in the league, that'll be very very good for us. Um, just quickly make sure there's no other. Uh, transfer offers, but this is going to be a derby this game as well, which is vital that we've got this at home. That guy's gone out on loan as well, so we've got another offer here for him. We'll just get rid of him. 
Uh, yeah, do that. Yeah, pretty much. Are we on match day now? I think we're one, one day away. So we'll have this and then we'll have... Yeah, we'll have the end of the... We'll have the end of the transfer window. We'll get to that. And then... I don't know if that was an actual offer. Then. I just wasn't really care if it was. Just because... Um, they probably wouldn't have sold anyway. So we're, we're going to have a little bit of a... A little bit of a mix-up. In fact, I won't do it here. I'll actually do it... I'll just, I'll just do it in the in the next menu, actually. The, uh, the line-up change. Yeah, Wolves and that kit and with Birmingham and this kit. So we get, we'll probably stick with the same formation. I'll, I'll stick with the same formation for this game, which is obviously a cut. We're, we're going to play Vinegre on the left wing back role. We'll play Eor for a right wing back. It's all about trying to play a few more fringe players. Uh, Bonatini's going to start up front. Saiz went to play, so I'm more than happy to play him in there. Uh, it's definitely going to be a game for Gibbs White. Then Donkers should play. This time, instead of Bolly, we'll let Bennett play. We'll get Ruddy in goal as well. Uh, Adama Traore will start in attack instead of Helder Costa. Cavallero on the left. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, we've obviously got a couple of players in there who so normally play. We've got Bennett and Cody, but yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll manage that. We'll kind of um, we'll mix them about as and when we kind of have to. And yeah, that should be should be pretty much good to go for. A big West Midlands derby in, you know, a crucial cup game. We, we want to be going as far as we can in these cup competitions. All right, then, here we go. So there's Morgan Gibbs-White, the young boy, warming up for a big game. Wolves versus Birmingham. Big derby game, but there's a bit more pressure on us, really, because, obviously, they are a lower league side, so we don't really want to be losing a game like this, as much as they are, obviously, only a championship team. Um... It would still be a bit of a disappointment to lose, especially early on in the season. We don't want to be out of the cup straight away. We want to have something to kind of fight on, just to just take our minds off like the relegation scrap as well, because it looks like it might be a relegation scrap after the first three games. It's a difficult start and three points on the board, but um, yeah, definitely good to have someone else to have an interest in as well and just see if we can go a little bit further in this competition. So yeah, here we go. Big, big game. Here's Bonatini. Tries to play it into a Dharma Troy. Just, just about found it. Back post. 1 0 to Wolves. Caballero pops up at the back post. And it's a big early goal for them in a crucial cup tie to try and breathe some confidence back into their squad after their back to back defeats in the Premier League. This will do them the world of good. Caballero with his second goal of the seasonal competition. It's the first goal in the Carabao Cup. Um, you never know, he might be going for the uh, top goal scorer award in this particular competition, but we will see. What a good start for Wolves. Well, brilliant challenge by Saez. He just snapped into the challenge. What do you want to see in a derby game? Supporting player alongside. Oh, wow. I mean, didn't really look like an opportunity there. Craig Gardner played the ball into Jotte. Took the shot on very, very quickly there. And, well, I mean, I'm sure what the player was doing, trying to make the block. The ball was actually going quite easily wide, but Ruddy didn't want to take any chances. And uh, he has conceded a corner, which Craig Gardner's going to swing in. Oh, well, Dean actually won the header there. And in the end, he should have a lot better with that. He'd be extremely disappointed with that with a centre-back. Wolves didn't mark up particularly well there. Here goes Gibbs White. Searching ball into space to Bonatini. Ball back into Vinegre. Oh, well charged down. The left wing-back got into a very, very good position there. Uncharted territory for him. And in the end, it was well charged down, straight off the thigh of the defender. Caballero is going to swing in the corner. Oh, Bennett's in some space here! Oh, to the top of the net from Ryan Bennett. Good hit from him. But similar to the opportunity for Dean at the other end for Birmingham, it was almost a bit of a three-header, really. He had men around him, but nobody really made an attempt to really attack the ball. And a bit of a three-header for him. Probably should have done a bit better. Just kind of got caught underneath it and looping the header onto the bar instead of getting a nice firm contact on the ball and powering it towards the top corner. But 
I'm sure there will be a few more opportunities for Wolves. Not necessarily that similar kind of help, but there will be more. Chance here for Birmingham with Che Adams. Oh my word, what an attack that was. Off his left foot, off a swigger, but that was hit very cleanly. And he's clipped the outside of the post. If anything, he might be a bit disappointed that he didn't put that into the back of the net. But Wolves survive the scare there from Birmingham. Good header by Gibbs White that. Bonatini, Gibbs White, finds Adama Traore. This is an opportunity now for Wolves. He's cut back inside Adama Traore. He looked for the near post, but uh, wasn't quite. He didn't quite get his angles worked out there, did he? Didn't really trouble the goalkeeper. He didn't need to make a save like Ruddy did at the other end. No need. That was easily into the side netting there by Adama Traore. And Saiz has got to try and hunt him down. Doesn't have to slow him down, though. Doesn't get the ball back completely. Jota, a little exchange between him and Djokovic. Magoma at the far post. What an effort that was. And not at any point would you expect him to take a shot on in that situation. But, I mean, it was worth an effort in the end. Again, it was another one which actually was going wide. But Ruddy's felt the need to concede the corner there. Um... I understand why he didn't obviously want to get beaten in his near post. Nothing worse for a goalkeeper than to get beaten out of the near post because you shouldn't really get beaten there. So uh, you understand why he's decided to keep it out. It's Pedersen venturing into the area. Oh, Adams again with his left foot. Birmingham are making chances here. They are making opportunities. Um, and certainly Wolves, they're going to have to really sort themselves out in the second half. Else they will, they will concede at some point. And... Yeah, they, they could. It could just be one of those things that once really one goes in for Birmingham, there could be a few more. It could really click for them. And Wolves could be in trouble. That's not the best defended by Dendonka there. He just watched the ball drop straight onto Jukovic's foot. Birmingham have another corner and they've looked dangerous from them. So this could be it, maybe. Cody has managed to stoop and clear that one. Only about a minute to go now. There was three minutes of added time. Jota's going to... Probably put a cross in, I would imagine, in this kind of area. He's won another corner of Vinegre. So, last chance of the half for Birmingham. Can they draw themselves level just before the interval? Swung in towards Pedersen. So, he's just going to put that away uh, to safety. And Wolves going at the break in this second round Carabao Cup clash. A goal to the good. But Birmingham are throwing men forward here. It's Jota good block that was in the end but uh, it is pretty much over it is now over Wolves have got a huge victory over their fierce rivals Birmingham a big derby game on a uh, midday evening and in the end it's a goal by Caballero an early goal by even Caballero with his left foot where he just kind of stabbed it across into the bottom corner as separated the two sides Big, big victory for Wolves. Gets them a early victory in the season, really. Obviously, after two back-to-back -back defeats. Gets them back to winning ways. Even if it is against a championship side. Just breathes a bit of confidence into the club. Into the squad. And uh, gets them into the next round. Gives them an opportunity to... Gives them an opportunity to win a competition, potentially. Although, obviously, it would be very, very difficult. Just gets into the next round. We don't really want to be out of the cup competition straight away. Um... But we're kind of approaching the end of the video now, guys. Obviously, played a few games there. Probably still a little bit of a long one. Um, depending on how long it is, I may break it into two. I'm not sure, but we will see. Just got to get through the end of the transfer window. Uh, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to buy anybody. Looks like all the talks are breaking down. We'll kind of just quickly skip through this. And then, yeah, the next video will be starting with the game against West Ham, which we saw there. Just have to battle, battle through this. Looks like Arsenal... Brought in Munyain and Wanfran. Uh, transfer for Doherty. He is definitely not for sale. Not at any price. Even if you offer me 8 million Bayer Leverkusen, he is not for sale. Montreal, Bayerian, El Nenny. Immobile obviously went to Real Madrid. We saw that. Nothing's coming there for us. Leicester have signed John Joe Shelby for £12.1 million. Interesting deal. Been a couple of signs actually Leicester in this window, uh, window which is interesting. Uh, a loan offer for Gibbs White from Independiente, which I'm not going to entertain at all. We need him. We're certainly not going to send him off to Argentina. That seems like a...
pretty stupid move to do. Uh, we will try and sell him, but to be honest, he, he won't go. Let's face it, we know that. He may go in uh, in January, possibly, or maybe like uh, the next summer window. It's probably going to be the time for him to go. Um, if not, I'll just wait for his contract to run out, <laughs> if I'm honest. £392 million pounds has been spent on this one deadline there. Apparently up to £457 million. Now, Pavard has gone to RB Leipzig, which is interesting. Um, up to £487 million now. Looks like probably yeah, the transfer talks broken down. There's an offer from Fenerbahce for Bennett for almost three million, but we're going to turn that down as well. He is a key figure at the heart of our defence. We need him. Um, but yeah, just some kind of go for the rest of you guys. So obviously, just say really, um, if you did enjoy the video, then uh, feel free to leave a like. Obviously, comment to let me know what you think. Any like, ideas about how I should change the formation or anything like that? Any different ways of playing? I still want to kind of play the same players in the team as I have been playing. Uh, so you get a little transfer offer here, which I will obviously try and sell him, but I don't think there's enough time for the deal to go through. Um, so yeah, let me know about any little kind of tips you've got, anything you want to kind of see with the team in the comments below. Obviously, all the kind of information about like Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that, it's all been along the top of, in, the, top of the screen in the video throughout. Um, so you can follow me on those sort of things. Obviously, you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, but that is going to be it guys, just quickly go through these, obviously we've got Dendonka, Patricio, Doxy going off with international duty soon. Going to be some monthly scout uh, scout updates which I will have a look at just once the video is ended. There's not really going to be any need to uh, show that, although I suppose I, nah, I'll quickly do it actually. It won't, won't take long, I'll just quickly bin off it, it's not like I've got to make any decisions on anybody. Um, but we're going to keep that is anyway, into the youth squad, we'll just quickly bin off a couple of these. Um, yeah, they'll all be scouted further. We got Alex Apollos, whatever he's called, um, has brought us some players. Probably going to get rid of those guys, actually. Just only like a maximum of 83 and 84 probably isn't really going to be enough. So we'll reject them. We'll reject him as well for 75. We'll keep those guys around for now. So that's only like we're in two months in for the, uh, for the scouts. So we've got plenty of time for some better players to come along for us to get a bit more of an accurate reading on some of the other players. Archie Bailey's going to go. Um, I'll keep Elliot Brown around for a little bit. Yeah, that guy will go as well. But that is it, guys. Um, I think that's all of them. Yeah, yeah, definitely seen all four of them. So that is it for this video. Obviously, like I said, all those other bits. Yeah, so um, hope you did enjoy it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one when we've got a big game against West Ham. Obviously, like you see, we're 14th at the moment, so we do need to try and pick up a win. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all for the next video, really, guys. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.